Right. But you didn't actually serve. You never served in heaven's army. You didn't do the work. My wife's issue has been trying to justify herself in front of Jesus. And I am he. With her own righteousness, which she does not possess. Same problem with you prodigals. I'm trying to gently help you see God's love. The solution to all of your problems is in your kingdom marriage. This was a tour I was in. And it all facilitated around walking with myself. In this day and age, so that I could be acquainted and lead you properly, knowing what you've been through. Now, when I say there is a dragon and the tactics that were utilized, you have to come to the conclusion, why is the kingdom marriage always attacked? And why is the prodigal always the facilitator of the attack? When you are here, Mary, I can give you a sound mind. Mary goes half and half. She'll go from listening attentively and receiving words from God to instantly on the attack. This is where your trauma has stemmed from, beloveds. So you have to deal with the trauma and heal. You have to see yourselves as a team and that you can trust your kingdom spouse because of their fruit and the things they do, the way they think, what they gravitate towards. Prodigals, your fruit is speaking for you. We work at this every day because your marriage is worth it. Where two or more are gathered, I am in your midst. I am still working on my marriage, whether Mary is here or not. But it takes... The Holy Spirit to do the work. And you can't do the work unless you are prompted by the Holy Spirit. So first see eternal life and the Holy Spirit as a gift. I paid for to give you. We discussed a few weeks ago the Quan. That's what I'm doing for my people. The finances, the respect, the love that you deserve. My kingdom spouses especially.
Prasama Kateshwara. A kingdom divided will not stand. For your loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked faithfully in your truth. I do not sit with deceitful or unethical or worthless men, nor seek companionship with pretenders, self-righteous hypocrites. I hate the company of evildoers. I will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, and I will go about your altar, O Lord, that I may proclaim with the voice of thanksgiving and declare all your wonders. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Do not sweep my soul. That's not even for me. <clears throat> so, my kingdom spouses, you have been tested and found worthy and you are in right standing with God. As your high priest, there's no need to intercede for you. For your prodigal, I can't intercede for them. So, you continue to stay in your lane. Prodigals, you know what you should be doing. You have to make the choice to do it. Perfect. 